Hi, I'm so glad you're here. I appreciate when you take the time to watch and comment on my videos. Do you know the difference between empathy and sympathy? Can you simply listen to your partner with empathy or do you have the overwhelming urge to offer advice to fix her problems? What is the best way to practice empathy when you listen to others? In my videos where I discuss communication within a relationship, I recommend listening with your full attention and with empathy. Some of us have a difficult time truly understanding the difference between empathy and sympathy, so I want to go over what empathy is and how it affects us differently than sympathy, as well as some of the ways you can show empathy to your partner, family, or friends. The definition of empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. This definition can mislead us to believe that because we understand someone's situation, we get to inform them how to feel about it and what to do. However, when we empathize, we strive to empower the other person to decide how they feel and listen to what they want to do about it. The definition of sympathy is experiencing feelings of pity and sorrow for someone else's misfortune. Sympathy encourages a victim mentality and informs that person that they're stuck in a miserable situation that they will need help to rectify. I'll give you a few examples that show how a sympathetic response is not as helpful as an empathetic response. Number one, imagine a friend tells you that he's getting a divorce. A sympathetic response might be, oh, I'm so sorry, that's awful. But what if your friend feels that his divorce is a good thing, or what if he's still processing how he feels about it? Reacting sympathetically could invalidate his true feelings. To respond with empathy, simply ask, how do you feel about that? That gives him the opportunity to choose how he feels, and you've given him a valuable gift of listening as he works through his emotions. Here's another reason empathy is different from sympathy. A sympathetic response would have been a dead end to the conversation, whereas empathy invites intimacy, which can feel awkward. However, if you can get through that moment of awkwardness, that authentic conversation will earn you a closer relationship with your friend. Example number two, your brother tells you that he's experiencing pain from an injury. A sympathetic response could be, I'm sure you're scared right now, but things will get better soon. Do you need to borrow some money? This sympathy encourages him to feel like a victim and advises him that you are the hero who can save him, which could cause some resentment. It can also make it even more difficult for him to take the necessary action to resolve that pain if he now feels insecure and worried rather than confident in his ability to take care of his own needs. To react with empathy, simply say, I'm sorry you're experiencing pain. How are you feeling emotionally? And allow him to explore his feelings with your support. He will feel better if he can vent and having you listen without judgment or advice means he will be less likely to feel that he's alone or unable to let go of the pain. Example number three, your partner comes to you needing to talk. She says, I want to leave my job. Sympathy would assume what her feelings are and respond, I'm sorry you're unhappy there. I know you've been very frustrated with your boss. You don't have to work there. I will support you until you find a job where you could be happy. Wow, that sounded so helpful, right? What's wrong with that? This sympathetic response labeled her feelings according to your beliefs. Instead of saying, I'm sorry you're unhappy there, I know you've been very frustrated with your boss, use empathy to ask her about her feelings and let her define them. Respond by letting her know you hear her and want to know more by repeating what she said and offering to listen without judgment by saying, you want to leave your job? Tell me what's going on. The next part, you don't have to work there. I'll support you until you can find a job where you can be happy. 
assumes she cannot figure out her own way of leaving one job and finding another. That can feel disrespectful, as if she is a ditzy damsel in distress rather than a competent woman making rational choices. If she does get to the point in the conversation when she asks for advice, it's best to answer, what would you like to do? Or, what end result do you want to see? Gently guide her by pointing out options and choices so she can find her own answers, because those will be the best answers for her. Then, when she comes to a final decision, she will feel that you supported her, but she's empowered to take charge of her own life decisions. When you show empathy in this way, your partner will more quickly move forward into action because she's been able to release her feelings during this conversation, which may have otherwise held her back. This is the same technique that a coach would use to guide a conversation. The difference is your partner will be with you for the rest of your life, so you want her to feel like she can come to you as a supportive sounding board whenever she needs to talk about anything. Now there may also be times when she wants a little sympathy or a hug instead of a sounding board. For instance, sometimes when I'm telling my husband about a frustrating situation and he says, what can I do to help? I'll reply, you can hold me and say, poor baby, it's all going to be okay. Of course, he'll do as I ask, and in those cases, I'm still the one who will fix or let go of the problem on my own. But I know that he's on my side, and he cares about me, and that's all I need. Communication like this is effective at creating a loving bond in a long-lasting relationship that makes our lives happier and more fulfilling because we have an empathetic partner who is always on our side to listen when we need support. The next time your partner, friend, or family member comes to you with a problem, use empathy to guide them to their own solution and let me know how it goes by leaving a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And take a moment now to like this video with a thumbs up, then subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The Softer Side